Hey everyone, so I'm doing a special video from Jamie Oliver's restaurant at 15 here in East London and we, me and a bunch of other great food bloggers were invited in to do a tasting of some Scottish langoustines and oh my goodness I'm so happy to be invited in because I love langoustines. Now uh, apparently 95% of them actually get kind of like sold overseas so it's kind of like why aren't more of them being eaten here in England? So, uh, well, we're going to go try some and I'm going to introduce you to some more of the food bloggers. Lovely girl. If you've got to have a poor with your local fish bunger, go and ask him and he'll be delighted to source them for you. It might take a day or two, but you'll be able to source them for you and then you'll be able to build up a chain of command, a chain of supply and that'll bring them in more regularly and you should get them quite simply then. Another way you'll be able to do them is online. Scottish Fishermen Organisation has set up a website www.buylangustine.co.uk I'll have another way that you'll be able to get them ordered as well so that should help. I'm at my local fishmongers here in Marlow. I'm about to go in and hopefully they've got some langoustines. I have my raw langoustines ready to cook. These are also known as Dublin Bay prawns and most commonly probably is scampi. So the end tail part is used for scampi. Um, now I'm going to cook these really simply by just boiling them in heavily salted water and uh, I'm going to have them with a bit of mayo. Mm. Right, so I'm just boiling these. They're not that big, so I'm, I'm thinking about three, three minutes, three to four minutes. Uh, they're not live either. So obviously it depends on the size of your langoustines, uh, but I will show you they should just be opaque and still pink once they're cooked. When they're cooked, they're still nice and pink, and if you look on the belly side, it's all opaque, uh, it's not translucent anymore, so it's definitely cooked. Now, to eat them, just basically rip the head off. Oh, sorry, And then you kind of have to pinch the sides, and it cracks the, cracks the shell, and it makes it easier to pull it all off. Okay, and it should come off like so. And you have a delicious langoustine. And don't forget, if you do have some really big langoustines, then obviously inside the claws, there's loads of nice meat. And, oh, Ian gave me a really good tip. He says, if you pull out that part of the claw, then you can use it as like a hook to get in there once you've cracked the meat open. Now I just like to dunk mine in a little bit of mayonnaise. Yum. This is a lemon homemade mayo, so. Mm. So let's help Kenny and Ian save the fishermen villages out there in Scotland from going out of business. Buy langoustines instead of big prawns, uh, try them out and go in, ask your local fishmongers or whatever you can to order some for you. They're so delicious, I hope you're all going to try them out. There's so many different ways of cooking langoustines, but this was just very, very simple boiled. I'm going to show you some other ways that we have at Jamie Oliver's restaurant. Delicious. So many, they're so versatile, you can do so much with them. I hope you're going to try them out. Please do leave me your comments if you do. Uh, Facebook, Instagram me, let's post and let's do some hashtag langos for the Lango Bros up in Scotland.